start Medical Intelligence One with my co-founders. Um, why practice artificial intelligence in medicine? Um, this kind of comes back to, to a moment in my life that's the, sort of my AI moment, if you will, which is um, the moment when a person realizes that AI is going to sort of dramatically change their world in some way. So for me, my AI moment was it, when I was doing some research uh, at UCSD in a metabolomics lab, and we were generating this massive amount of data. And I realized one day, I was sitting in front of the computer with this wall of data in front of me, right? It was patients down the, the rows and things we were measuring in their blood along the columns, millions of data points. And I realized that my human brain couldn't even begin to deal with that level of complexity. And the sort of obvious conclusion from that was that machines are going to have to help us. And we were taking this sort of traditional reductionist approach of looking at like one molecule and one disease outcome and whatnot. But I realized, I mean, just knowing how biology works, that we were totally missing the forest for the trees that way. You know, we're, we're missing the bigger, the broader picture, the, the interconnectedness of nature uh, when we do that. And only machine intelligence can take in that full broader context uh, and, and make full use of the meaning that is in our data. So that sort of, it was a, an existential crisis for me as someone who is a physician in training. I had to stop and ask myself, do, you know, are, are machines going to take my job someday? Is there even a point in training by the time I get done with all this training? Is the AI just going to, you know, take over? Um, and to, to some degree, that question still exists in my mind. But I, do, I think it'll be a very long time before we get to that point. Um, I think way before we get there, artificial intelligence will do a tremendous amount of good for clinicians and patients. Um, it'll make clinicians' job, jobs easier. We can help that, that tremendous cognitive burden that we bear every day easier. Um, we can extend our ability to, to learn while we're working. Um, and for patients, we can improve outcomes tremendously. We can understand a person much, much more deeply than we currently understand them. Um, and we can do this at scale. Uh, and we can extend these, these benefits far beyond the, you know, the, the premier academic institutions and, and whatnot, out to nurse practitioners and, and physician's assistants working in rural areas or out to countries where they, they have you know, very, very few doctors um, and, and it's just not an option to see a doctor. You know, we, can, we can extend so much good to the world this way. And that's what gets me up in the morning to keep doing this every day.